We are about to get underway. A lot of burgundy in the house. Arkansas in the darker jerseys. Some neighbors talk to us about in his seven seasons, this is the team that he feels like has the most opportunity for growth throughout the season as Amaria Gordon lets it rain from three. When you see there is going to be a crowd anytime tonight. Gordon. Cut off nicely oh, nice by look. Spencer. And then, yeah, terrific look in the finish for Timpson. At Florida, that's most by any ACC player this year anywhere. That looks good. That is the first three buried for Arkansas. Outside shot. Bottom of the net for Spencer. We'll turn that into offense. In transition, you got to match up, got to find three-point shooters. This is what Arkansas does. Taylor Daniels has really had to adjust her game with the addition of Talia Scott. Used to having the ball in her hands a lot. Talia Scott is a, is a volume scorer as well. Heading into this game with a dynamic score. Oh, that's it. Come on. Brooke Wyckoff talked about the way that Tanai Latson is, but just look at the read. Oh. She goes around the defender. And Simpson, certainly a special player. Park Poppenbarger finally gets one to fall. Ball here is really tough to defend. All the defense, you see one, two, three, Jersey sucked down into the paint. Poffenbarger wide. Spencer guarded by Bajetti, their best perimeter defender. Poffenbarger, couple of feet behind the three-point line, and she beats the buzzer. Here off the elbow, Turnage gets sucked in on this penetration, and then it's two-on-one on, on the backside. You got to pick your poison. Well, Miriam Dowd has done such a good job of using her length inside, staying vertical, altering shots, and Scott finds the rim again. Terrific cut by Puffenbarger, draws in secondary defender, the getting extra possessions. The Jetty didn't score in the first half. That's a nice feed over to Timson. Three fouls. That flat out just came out of the bucket for Tucker. And Florida State is ice cold. Daniels loved it, leaving her hands. Talia Scott, who we're seeing here today. Michaela Williams, you mentioned it, dropped 42 on Kent State. And Malaysia Fulwiley at South Carolina, one of the most electric players in the country. Transition, and it's so important to get matched up. Poffenbarger gets loose. They're not getting any offensive rebounds either. Dowda got that one for Arkansas. And then the nifty move. It's a great attack in transition. Again, it's not there. No over penetration. Find the next pass. Find the net next action. And Scott. And at 21 against Louisiana Monroe earlier this season. And nothing but the bottom of the net for Scott. Barger. Good. Look at the slip out. There's confusion on the defensive end. There's not really a screen. So are we switching? Are we not? Two players went to. Poffenbarger. Kind of running around the three point line. Wants the ball, but instead the three is taken and hit by Spencer. You know, if, if you're the Seminoles, you've got to make an adjustment in how you're playing the on ball screens as Alexis Tucker knock, knocks one down. One on one to attack to force long rotations to find their teammates. That's another three. Daniels picks up her dribble. Shot clock dwindling. Step back three. Nailed by Talia Scott, the super freshman. Big individual move. Just a little hesitation and the step back to create space, but the they stayed the course. They did what they continued to do best and finally found a rhythm on the offensive end. Three from Tucker, that's her second. One more, yep, that's a good look. The drive, count it, and the foul. Gordon. Right, it's been one pass and then trying to make a play. This time, the extra pass. She had 21 in a game earlier against Louisiana Monroe, and she is now one away from tying the Arkansas record Spencer nails a three. 
Inside, that's a terrific feed. Spencer found out him. Can you execute in the quarter court? And we're finding out that they can execute very well in time and score situations. Absolutely count it and the foul. And they have done that and now with this big lead, as you mentioned, doing a good job of executing. And we can shore up those really bad areas as we head into conference play. They haven't looked any bit bad no. here tonight. They got off to that slow start offensively and boy, since the second quarter they've taken over. After trailing by eight points in the second quarter, Watson shows some of her skill. Well, Florida State going to play Kent State and Jacksonville before they go to Uncasville, Connecticut to play UCLA, which is Arkansas's next opponent. But holy, Mike Neighbors has got to be pleased with what he saw. And Poffenbarger was just a beast 